G'day guys, Caleb from Abigail Travel. Something a little bit different today, we're in the office. I've got a new swag that's been sitting on my shelf for a little bit. Today we're finally going to set her up, the last piece of the puzzle rocked up today. We got our new awesome cotton canvas mega hooded sleeping bag from Austral. So the idea is that I'm going to start taking a single swag on my solo adventures. So instead of taking the big double, I'm going to try and have a go at taking a single swag. So the reason we're doing this now is we're actually off on a trip, well we, I, am actually off on a trip tomorrow. So I want to take my new swag with me, so I need to set it up, unbox it now. So the Austral bag in a double swag is absolutely awesome. Yeah, this one here, cotton canvas, um, flannel outlined. I went down to Kmart and I bought a mattress topper for it. So I'm hoping that this will make the mattress a bit better. And whilst I was at Kmart, I just bought a single fitted sheet just to hold it all together. Now the main reason I went with the crash pad swag is the colour. I really wanted an orange swag. When I seen this colour, I fell in love with it instantly. And I decided this is what I'd have. So, obviously the um, cam swag, that's the mattress all rolled up. With the crash pad bags, you get a um, canvas carry bag as well. So I think that's 400 GSM, so it's made of the same canvas as the swag anyway, so it all feels heavy duty and feels pretty good. So the bag's massive, even with the swag, the mattress topper and the massive sleeping bag, I still reckon I could get my pillow in that. I still reckon there's room that I could jam it in there. Your piles, they come in a plastic bag. We'll probably scrap that bag, to be honest. So, just some handouts. Big ass crash pad sticker. Set up instructions. <laughs> I think I'll work it out. I don't think I'll need the instructions. Right, hey, that's the gear. I do love that color. So bright. I probably won't stay that way, but. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is. I'm going to unwrap the mattress. Now obviously using scissors or whatever to cut it open, just be careful you don't damage it. Now that mattress is out of the packaging, I'll let that expand and get some air. One thing I do like is it's got a zippable cover on it, so you can definitely unzip the cover and wash it. It is this... Um, I don't know, silky, shiny, slippery sort of stuff. Hopefully that'll keep it a little bit cleaner, but it is a little different because all the ones I've had previous have been a um, cotton, like a cotton liner cover on them. So I'm sure there's a reason for it, but it'll be all right. The stitching on this is a little bit ordinary, really. But being that cover for the mattress, it should be okay. It shouldn't have any dramas with it. So I'm ready now. I'm just going to put the poles in it, set it up. Get it to take shape, and then we'll uh, set the mattress up from there. So three piece center pile, aluminium, feels decent. Actually, um, obviously that'll loosen as it gets older, but that center pile is really tight to get in. A little bit concerned I was going to break that, to be honest. <laughs> now, this little pouch here. Oh, yeah, it's got some uh, patches, some repair patches, and some tent bags. We've got to lie, I've never pegged a swag down anyway. Well, the first opinions of it, it feels pretty good, low like quality wise. So, the canvas feels really good. Um, feels a little bit waxy, which that's good. Yeah, well, I'll say at the minute it's real tight and taut. I think as it gets older, the canvas will stretch a bit. Admittedly, this mattress has only been expanded for, I don't know, 10 minutes. But, this is chuckery. It actually feels pretty comfy. Swag mattress wise, I can still feel, I can feel the floor on my hip, but like I say, I'm no little fella. So that's not a bad thing. It's pretty standard for me in any swag. The idea of the perfect swag setup is everything in it ready to go. So, this sleeping bag will live in it. The only thing I need to grab is pillow. So, it'll be ready at any minute. Just throw it in the back of the rig and go camping. 
We run a mattress topper on a camper trailer, and we have for a long time. But, and it made a big difference. I would have a good feeling this is going to be a good thing. By adding the mattress topper, adding the big padded sleeping bag, it'll be very soft to lay on, but I'm just hoping that it's still, we can roll it tight enough to get it in the bag. But, we'll see. Look at quality came out, $12 sheet. <laughs> that actually feels really good. Living like a king down here now. I'm not used to my feet being able to touch the canvas. I don't know if I like that. So before I bought this, I did actually read a lot of reviews, watched a lot of videos on it. Um, any information really I could find, I, I, I looked into it. And everyone said that the mattress was crap, but really, for something that had only had air in it for 10 minutes, it, it felt all right. The cheap mattress topper on it really makes it feel a bit different. Though I am a little bit concerned about how thick it's gonna be, but to start with, it feels good. I'm pretty happy with it. No point having a good swag, you're not having a good sleeping bag. So, that's why you got an Austral cotton canvas. Oh man, this bag feels like a bloody swag itself. It is very thick. <laughs> so, flat out bag, hooded sleeping bag. If you forget your pillow, you could roll that hood up and use it as a pillow if you have thickness. This is like laying on a pillow top mattress. The sleep bag, the cheap mattress topper. Huh? This is pretty bloody good. Well, good night, guys. Not a bad place to wake up. First night in the single swag. It's pretty bloody good. So, new sleeping bag, sensational. Probably too warm for camping down the beach, but all I did is just use it like a doona. Mattress, holy crap. That pillow topper on the 50 mil mattress, sensational. It's probably one of the best night's sleeps I've had in a swag. Me being a big fella in the single, it wasn't that bad, it wasn't too claustrophobic. Definitely enough for him to roll around throughout the night, which was good. Um, one thing I did, because the sleeping bag was so warm, for the first time ever, I actually left the um, just the midgy mesh closed all night. So that was kind of cool. As I sit here putting the video together on my ultimate single swag setup, I'll give you some final thoughts. So I think the crash pad swag is a pretty good bit of gear. Um, single, freestanding, plenty of room in it, which is awesome. The setup with the mattress with the topper on it, and then of course that massive Austral cotton canvas bag, just makes it unreal to sleep on. Like it is so soft, so comfortable. So the single, much easier to throw around, much easier to roll up, much easier to pack and store in the car. Obviously, as time goes on, I'll give you updates on it, but so far, I'm loving this. This is something I probably should have done sooner. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions, so comment down below. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. Until next time, guys, go travel.